The body of these instruments is made from wood, which contains cellulose, a linear, organised, high molecular mass polysaccharide, which makes up about 50% of the structure of wood. This is a naturally occurring polymer, as are the other polymers present in wood, hemicellulose and lignin. However, there are many aspects of string instruments where synthetic polymers are now used, such as the coating on strings and the bow, which is traditionally a wooden bow stick and horsehair, but there are now synthetic alternatives, such as a carbon fibre composite bow stick and nylon bow hair. Strings on string instruments are made from wound metallic materials like aluminium, titanium and chromium. Uncoated, these strings could easily become contaminated with dirt and skin oils, which deadens the string as the materials build up. However, instruments mostly have strings with a polytetrafluoroethylene PTFE coating on top of the wound metal, which extends the string life greatly. PTFE is a chain growth polymer made by free radical polymerization, which has three steps. In the initiation step, a radical initiator such as ammonium persulfate breaks down at the reaction temperature to form initiated radicals by homolytic cleavage of the weak oxygen-oxygen bond. In the propagation step, the initiated radical adds to another molecule of the monomer, which generates a terminal radical which propagates further. Termination is the ending of the radical chain growth through either chain combination or disproportionation. In chain combination, two reactive radicals on different chains react which forms a bond. In the much rarer disproportionation, the reactive radical abstracts an atom from the polymer chain, so one chain is reduced to an alkane whilst the other is oxidised to an alkene. There are two different procedures used for polymerization: granular and dispersion polymerization. The dispersion of PTFE in water is obtained from dispersion polymerization, which allows the strings to be dip coated or sprayed with the polymer. Examples of methods of PTFE string coating are through electrolyte plating and treatment of the strings with the polymer vapor. PTFE resists chemical attack, preventing the metal of the string reacting with dirt or oils or being oxidized. PTFE also has very low friction so enables movement of the fingers or bow on the string without hindrance. Due to this, PTFE is well suited as a coating on strings. Carbon fibre bows are made of carbon fibre epoxy resin composites. Carbon fibre is a polymer which is a form of graphite in ribbons. These ribbons pack together to form fibres. It is made from polyacrylonitrile. Epoxy resins are made of two parts, a diepoxy and a diamine. Together they react and form a cross-link network. These two materials form a composite made of carbon fibre fibres and an epoxy resin matrix. The fibre is embedded in the matrix to strengthen it. These composites are strong and light and look and act a lot like wood. They also may last longer and perform better. Nylon has been used in bow hair, mainly for beginner instruments. Nylon 66 is made from 1,6-diaminohexane and hexane dioic acid by step growth polymerization. Nylon chains can hydrogen bond to each other due to the polar amide groups and so form strong fibres as the molecules fit together in a regular pattern. What polymers are used in brass instruments? The brass family, traditionally made from brass, a metal or layer of copper or zinc, with a coating of silver plate or gold lacquer. There is a polymer lacquer also put on the instrument for some protection from scratches, which was originally cellulose acetate or nitrate, but modern instruments have baked on epoxy lacquer. However, in the last few years, the area of brass instruments being made from plastic and plastic components has started to be explored and has begun with polymer trombones and mouthpieces. Kelly mouthpieces are made from polycarbonate, which is a thermoplastic polymer formed by step growth or condensation polymerization. This polymerization can occur by the reaction of bisphenol A with carbonyl chloride in alkaline solution, or by reaction of bisphenol A with diphenyl carbonates to form polycarbonates. The mouthpieces are made to the correct sizes and shapes using computer coordinate measurements from a conventional metal mouthpiece and injection moulding to produce a strong tusk product. The main advantages of the Kelly mouthpieces are that they are much more comfortable and easier to play in hot or cold environments, such as when marching outdoors as it does not conduct heat like metal and does not require warming up. It is also cheaper than a metal mouthpiece and provides those with allergies to metal mouthpieces a new means of playing. In recent years, instruments made out of plastic have become increasingly available. These P-bone trombones are made of acrylonitrile butadiene styrene ABS, which is a tertiary copolymer made of three molecules, acrylonitrile, polybutadiene and styrene. It is formed 
by free radical chain polymerization using a potassium peroxidisulfate radical initiator. However, careful analysis must be done to make sure trace residual monomers are at a minimum in ABS products. If monomers of acrylonitrile, butadiene or styrene remain in the products after polymerization, then they could be harmful to human health, as acrylonitrile and butadiene are carcinogens and styrene has a acute stink skin toxicity. ABS is a strong and lightweight plastic. Its strength is mainly due to the nitrile groups of the acrylonitrile units, which are very polar and so are attracted to each other. This allows opposite charges of the neighbouring nitrile groups to stabilise each other, holding the ABS chains together more tightly and increasing the strength of the material. The rubbery nature of polybutadiene gives flexibility and toughness to the copolymer, along with the hardness of styrene. This makes ABS tough, scratch-proof and fairly chemically resistant, which makes it ideal for use as a durable trombone, which could be played even in harsh environments. This, and the lightweight and the low expense, make it ideal as a learner's instrument for people around the world. Many professional musicians are also making a feature of plastic ABS trombones due to their surprisingly decent sound quality.